I'm all set, kids. I was ready an hour ago. Well, say, Mr. Benny, since we're going to the races, would you uh, lend me a thousand dollars? Lend you... Dennis, if I lent you a thousand dollars, how would you pay it back? Well, I'll let you deduct it from what you'll owe me after the trial. <laughs> Jockey? No, the horse. <laughs> Mary, why did you... Dennis, will you stop making up those silly things? Now sit down and be quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth race was a photo finish. We will have the results in a moment. It is between Gallant Lad and Joseph Day. <laughs> How do you like that? Even a coincidence has to be on his side. <laughs> Dennis, now just sit there and be quiet and let me enjoy myself. Enjoy yourself? You've been here for five races and haven't bet on a horse yet. I told you I'm waiting till the sixth. Speedy girl can't lose. Well, we have about a half hour. Why don't we go to lunch? Okay. Goodbye. Come on, Mary. I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> With us? Oh, no, thanks, Mary. I'm too excited to eat. Good, good. <laughs> hey, fun. Fun. <laughs> Long time no see. service around here. Where are the waiters, anyway? Jack, we just got here. Oh, we just... That's the trouble with you, Mary. You let everybody push you around. Well, I'm not going to. A waiter! Waiter! I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't rush me! Don't be so impatient! No, you're not the only one here, you know. The lady is waiting, too. Well, she's with me. No. <laughs> now, don't be funny. And we'd like a table by the window. At the moment, there isn't any. Number one will be ready when it's cleared off. While we're waiting, you can take our order. Uh, what would you suggest? Another waiter. You make me so nervous! <laughs> Look, I don't care whether I make you nervous or not. Uh, what can we get in a hurry? Well, we have roast beef, leg of lamb, uh, corned beef, and, and bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs, that sounds good. Are the eggs fresh? Of course they are. <laughs> Mary, would you like bacon and eggs? Of course I would. <laughs> I don't know, I don't feel like eggs. How about hamburger? Well, is the hamburger fresh? Fresh? It was in the first race. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Just bring us the bacon and eggs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, the last race was a photo finish. But you won't know the results till tomorrow. Gee, that's strange. The picture turned out so good that we've decided to show it at your neighborhood theater. <laughs> Hey, Bud. Bud. 
Huh? Come here a minute. You me? Yeah. What is it? You eating here? Yeah. What table? Table number one. Uh-uh. Take table number nine. <laughs> but I'm... I'm very happy with, with number one. Think it over, bud. Table number one is a card table. So what? If it carries too much weight, its legs will fold. <laughs> yeah, I... I never thought of that. Why should I take number nine? Well, just think of the breeding. The breeding? It's my bird's eye maple on a Grand Rapids. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I, I didn't even think they, they knew each other. Don't <laughs> get wise, bud. Think it over. Why don't you give me a tip on a horse? Who knows anything about horses? <laughs> so long, Stephen. I wish he'd leave me alone. Here's your bacon and eggs, table number one. Table number one? What do you think, I'm a sucker? We're not going to eat here. What difference does it make what table we're at? It makes a lot of difference. Now put us at table nine. Table nine? You mean the bird's eye maple one? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you can't eat at that table. Why not? It was scratched. <laughs> Stop with those jokes. Put us at table nine. Oh, all right, all right. I'll change you. Well, are you coming? <laughs> Mary, let's go. We'll eat later. Eat later, eat later. Eating with you is the best diet I know. Never mind. Come on. Gee, Mary, the sixth race will be starting soon. Oh, I wonder where Jack is. Oh, Jack! Jack! Hello? Oh. Did you get the information you wanted? No, but I came here to bet on Speedy Girl, and that's what I want to do. And say, Dennis. Yes? You know, this is your first time at the track, so take a tip from me and put your money on Speedy Girl. Speedy Girl? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's number eight. That's right. Oh, that's no good for me. I already bet on number 12. Number 12? What's the name of the horse? Well, who cares? It's the number that's important. That's my system. <laughs> Dennis, you've got a system? Yeah, sure. Well, Dennis, according to your system, why did you bet on number 12? Well, you see, the horse is carrying 116 pounds, and this is the sixth race, so 116 and six is 122. Now, the race starts at 14 minutes after four, and 14 and four is 18, and 18 added to 122 makes 140. Now, this is the fourth week of the month, so four divided into 140 is 35. <laughs> uh -huh. Then I took my age, which is 26, and subtracted from 35, which leaves me 9. Uh-huh. Then I added 3 to 9, and I bet on number 12. Now, Dennis, I followed you till 9. Now, why did you add 3? Well, how else can you get to 12? <laughs> Thirty-five. Come on, let's go to the five-dollar window. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Mary, look. Isn't that my sponsor, Mr. Lewis, sitting over there? Where? Right over there. Yes, it is. Well, come on, let's go over and say hello to him. Oh, Jack, look, he came to enjoy himself. Leave him alone. But, Mary, he's my sponsor. If he thought I was here and didn't come over and say hello, he'd, he'd be heartbroken. Oh, Jack, come please. 
and now going out on the track are the horses for the sixth race. Reptide, Speedy Girl, Silverette, Flying Cloud, Wild Way, Pinky, Contraband, and Sir Echo. Hey, Mr. Lewis. Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, how are you? Hello, Jack. Good. Hello. Oh, hi, Mr. Lewis. Well, who have you got in the next race? Flying Cloud. Mr. Lewis, forget all about Flying Cloud and bet on Speedy Girl. She'll win by eight lengths. Jack, my mind is made up. I'm going to play Flying Cloud. But, Mr. Lou... Jack, let him bet any way he wants. Oh, well, Mary, it's silly to come out to track and bet on anything. <laughs> I mean, look, Mr. Lewis, I've been following these horses all season, and I know what I'm talking about. Jack, please. Mary, Speedy Girl can't lose. Jack, I'm sorry, but I'm betting Flying Cloud. Okay. <laughs> it's your dough. <laughs> you know, don't, don't say I didn't tell you. <laughs> the horses are nearing the starting gate. Well, I'm going up the window, make my bet. Five dollars on the nose. <laughs> say, Mary. Yes, Mr. Lewis? I've been thinking. If Jack bets five dollars on a horse, he must know something. Are you kidding? He read four books on American history before he bought a government bond. <laughs> well, I'm going to change my bet. I'm putting $100 on Speedy Girl. Oh, will you do me a favor and bet $2 for me? I'd be glad to, Mary. Okay. The horses are in the starting gate. Gee, I'm glad I got there in time. Now they're all in the gate, and there they go. Here, you didn't bet on Speedy Girl? No, you, you talked me out of it. <laughs> what are you so unhappy about? Jack, Benny, I bet on the horse you gave me. You did? Gee, Mr. Lewis, how could you be so silly? <laughs> yeah, you call me silly. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's my fault if you're a sore loser. <laughs> Mary! <laughs> Mr. Lewis, how could you do such a thing? He didn't do it, I did. 